Breaking news, Nigerians. Video of a man that drops bond share has broken, you know, the internet in the early hours of today. This man tells real life history of Tunubu. Says the original Bola Ahmed Tunubu once again. An undefined man has dropped a bond share on the lingering crisis bedeviling the real identity of Bola, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu. Speaking in Yoruba language with transcripts in English to drive his point home. The man told the real-life history of Tinubu, saying that the original Bola Ahmed Tinubu was, whose identity was stolen by Tinubu, was a girl, the daughter of one of the Tinubus who did not have a male child. In the three-part video posted by Jack Ude on X, formerly Twitter, the speaker cleared all the webs obscuring the real identity of the man Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And these have, you know, gotten Nigerians talking. Nigeria is just a talk left, right, and center. You know, this issue of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Nigerian president's identity, has become, you know, a talk of the day every now and then. People would tell you, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, they don't know uh, the, the primary school he attended, they don't know the, the secondary school he attended. And uh, he doesn't have classmates during his primary and secondary school time. And Nigerians are now wondering, who is this Bola Metunubu? Now, even in the, in, the, uh, in the U.S., this case is now before the, the U.S. courts. The U.S. courts, please pardon me. When they said the Tunubu who graduated from the Chicago State University was a female. But the same certificate is one President Bola Metunubu presented to uh, INEC, you understand? And it's causing a lot of problems. It's causing a, a lot of problems. The presidential tribunal uh, petition here in Nigeria, they don't, you know, declare say President Bola Metunubu na in the election. All those ones when... I think Abubakar, they talk about a female, uh, a female is the owner of the certificate. President Bola Metunubu is parading that the certificate is fake. No, a female certificate, a female certificate and other one. Uh, according to Atiku Abubakar, President Tinubu now forged another certificate for himself because there are so many uh, inconsistencies inside the certificate and all that. This is the same issue of President, you know, Bola Ahmed Tunubu's identity and all that. Well, the case is before the Chicago State right now. Uh, Tunubu supposed to hand over um, his credentials to Atiku Abubakar, according to U.S. judge. The, the judge of the United States District Court of the Northern District, Jeffrey in Oglibert, on, on Tuesday disclosed reasons he ordered Chicago State University to release President Bola Tinubu academic certificates to Nigerian opposition leader Atiku Abubakar because Atiku Abubakar said Tinubu forged the result, that the result is carrying, is bearing, you know, a woman's name is not is a female, not male. President Bola Ahmed Tunubu is a man now. We know him. You understand? Say now man he be. Say that the certificate now female. So how come? So these are the issues here and there. So many persons are still saying that maybe there are some people who just want to tarnish President Bola Ahmed Tunubu's name. And that is why they are carrying this. President Bola Ahmed Tunubu is not, is not who he is. You know, saying currently he is because of this the certificates he is carrying and other issues like where did he attend his primary school, where did he attend his secondary school because currently his primary school education and secondary school education has been deleted. You understand? So, as it is right now, President Bola Metinubu does not have primary and secondary school background. So you see, these are the things that that are giving Nigerians you know, uh, this to talk that, are you sure this man is actually who he is? 
and all that. You know one thing, uh, in life, if you are doing anything, just be straightforward in what you are doing. President Bola Metinubu should not be facing all these issues. If INEC actually did their background, their, their, their underground job before someone will obtain a, a ticket to run any any position, to run any any political position in Nigeria. The Lord stipulates that you have to, you know, submit some certain credentials. And before you do that, you as a person, you see this, this and this and that. If you are this, you cannot run for that position. INEC is supposed to go through all these things. You understand? I keep on blaming the INEC. Those who are dragging Tinubu here and there, I not blame them. I blame the INEC. This now you don't turn to a kind of embarrassment before the the international communities. How can we be judging that our president is carrying a female uh, certificate? How can we say that our president does not have certificate? How can we now say that the the court who now ordered the the the, the school our president attended? The, the same president is now asking the school, the courts, to please hold. Because if they release that document, there's going to be damage in his personal life. So what is going on? What is going on? So you see, the foundation is faulty. The foundation is sick. We should not be talking here. We should not be talking about these things. Nigeria government will change their way. Do things in the right way. Everything with a court court, short court, is not helping us. It's just like if you want to climb a ladder, instead of you to start from the first step, then you you left the first, the second, you carry your hand, drop carry your leg, drop for the third at this stage. How do you think you will cope? You are going to fall with the ladder, then you will start all over again. This is so unfortunate. So if anybody is bringing out anything to say here and there. Are you going to blame them? No. No. The INA have to be blamed. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.